Hi guys, my name is Todd Birchby and we are here today at the Angler's All Fly Tying Studio and I will be tying up for you my paradamsel fly. And so we're gonna get started. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tie in this uh, Peacock Blue UTC 70 thread. And we're gonna tie it in right behind the eye of the hook. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap back about halfway or to where the point of the hook is right there. And then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the bobbin, I'm gonna do a couple wraps, sparing wraps back forward. And then from here, we're gonna tie in our, our parachute. And so for this, I use the McFly on uh, white uh, para posts. And what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll wrap it around the thread. And this, this helps me actually cinch it down right to the top of the hook shank. And then I'll take the, take the bobbin thread and wrap, do like two or three wraps just to cinch it down real good. And I'm just gonna take, cut the uh, para post make these guys even and then we're, we will later on when we're done with everything we will come back and we will trim everything up and everything will look great after that but i cut it i cut it down because that that material can get in my way so from here i'm going to take my bobbin and i'm going to wrap it behind the para post and i'm going to come up the para post with this, with my thread. I can do it today. There we go. Struggling with that a little bit. You can kind of adjust this and move the para post around after you've got it wrapped. So I just let it fall back down. And then I'm going to take it, as you can see, the thread is behind the para post right now. We're going to go ahead and take it and wrap it right in front of the para post. And then I'm going to take my hackle, which is, I use the Whiting uh, Grizzly Dry Fly Hackle for this. And, and I usually cut these things in half. It just makes it easier um with to not too much material in the way now you can see the grizzly hackle i've made a little notch right here i've cut it down i pulled the fibers back and i've cut it back down and this helps keep this hackle cinched into the para post and if you look at your hackle one side is curved in and one side is curved out and we want that curved side in right up against the para post. And I'll explain that a little later as we wrap the, wrap the hackle on the para post. But we're gonna cinch it in right to the hook and we're gonna come up with the bobbin along the para post and that cinches it in nice and tight All right, we're just gonna do a couple wraps in front, a couple wraps in back, in back of the para post. And then we're gonna go ahead and tie in our tail. They call it uh, uh, an adult damsel body. Um, and I call it a tail, I'm not quite sure why, but. Um, so anyways, I cut these about an inch and a half. And then I go ahead and I mark it with a black sharpie and it gives it that segmentation to the tail. And then we're gonna tie this in and we're gonna tie it right in to, so right here we've got the thread behind the para post. We're gonna tie in our, 
damsel body or tail right on top of the hook shank. We're gonna wrap back. We're gonna come about mm, oh, a centimeter or two back. Just get that thing tied in nice and tight right there. So I can adjust this. I can pull kind of the parapost post and the, the grizzly hackle back towards the front and that just kind of keeps everything right out of the way. And then I will take my thread and what I'll do right here is I'm gonna hold that tail up and I'm gonna come out and around and underneath the damsel body. And I'm gonna do this three or four times. Now the reason I do this is to keep that damsel body tail up and back. It makes it float a little better in the water. There we go. Okay, so next, uh, we've got the tail tied in. Um, the thread is back where you finished off the tail. You've made your wraps around. Uh, we're gonna tie in our flashaboo right here. So what I'll do is I'll take three or four stands, strands of the crystal flashaboo. Get these lined up. Just get it wet so it sticks together. Trim it up. And then we're gonna take this, the flashaboo, we're gonna wrap it just like um, just like we did with the pair post, we're gonna wrap it around the thread and then we're gonna cinch it right down <clears throat> to the top of the hook shank. There we go. So now we're gonna take the flash boo. You just gonna kinda hold on to it right on the top of the fly you're gonna wrap back, and this will sense that flash of boo down. And then we're gonna take our thread, we're gonna wrap it all the way back up to the pair post. And then from here, what I'll do with the flash of boo is I'm gonna cut it about a quarter of an inch back from the end of the tail. And then later on, when we're done with the fly, uh, we'll come back, we'll trim everything up, we'll spread out the flashaboo, and it'll look nice for sitting in the, sitting on top of the water. Okay, so for the foam, I use, and uh, it's razor foam, it's a 0.5 millimeter, it's in the opaque blue, and we're going to tie that right into the top of the fly. We're going to wrap back with that. We're going to come back all the way forward, right behind the parachute, and then we're going to tie in our wire. And this is the blue UTC wire. And it's in a small. Wrap that all the way back, get that nice and cinched down good. Okay, so from this point, we are going to wrap up just a couple turns, fairly sparringly. And then we're gonna do two wraps with the foam, back up towards the front of the fly, and two wraps with the, with the wire. All right, wrap the foam around. And again, don't pull too tight on this because this foam will break very easily. So I did one turn right there. I'm gonna give it a couple, couple turns over the foam. That's gonna cinch it down into place. And then we're gonna take our wire. We're gonna wrap it up two turns, three turns actually. There we go. We're gonna tie off the wire right there. And then from this point, get everything out of the way here. We're gonna pull both the foam 
and the wire back. We're gonna stick it on our materials holder. And that just keeps everything nice and tight and out of the way. Now, now we're gonna tie in our wings for the damsel. So for this, I use the Swiss straw in a clear. You can use it in a white. Uh, I like the clear myself. And if you can see, um, I have cut this Usually with one cutting, I can cut, uh, I can make uh, two, two wings out of it. Now, if you look at this, uh, the Swiss straw I'm holding right here, there's a curved side and there's a flat side to it. So the curved side, we want facing out. So we're gonna tie in the curved side. I do the one that's on the, the outside of the fly first. Tie it right in right there, a couple turns to cinch it down. And then we're gonna tie in our other set of wings right here. Let me just trim this up a little bit. Okay. And then again, curved side out, flat side in. Tie that in right there. And then we're gonna trim up our Swiss straw. We're not messing with the back or the foams yet, the foam or the flashaboo yet. Um, we're just gonna get some of this material out of the way. So the foam, when we wrap the foam up, it'll lay nice, very nice on the fly. Okay, so from this point, I am going to take the thread and I will wrap it up around the parachute and we're gonna wrap it right to the front of the parachute. Now, at this point, I'm gonna tie in my eyes. So I place the eyes, the, the eyes are made from, from by hairline and they're in a small and they're black. I'm gonna place them right on top of the hook shank Cinch it down and straighten them out a little bit. And then I'll do a bit of a bit of a figure eight right here. And just cinch down those eyes nice and neat. There we go. It's looking good. All right. So at this point, I'm going to take the foam and the wire out of the material holder. And then we're going to wrap up our foam. all the way up to the front. So I do a couple wraps in back of the parachute and I'm gonna do a couple wraps in front of the parachute. And then I'm gonna take the foam and we're gonna wrap it and cover up those eyes. Little figure eight, just like you did with the, th the thread tying in the, tying in the eyes. And we're gonna cinch it down two or three times right there. Get those, get the foam nice and tight on the front, right behind the eye of the hook. And then we're gonna take our wire, we're gonna wrap it up. So what this wire does, it helps to keep that uh, foam together because it is easy to break. And, but it also gives it, it gives that thorax a bit of segmentation. Also a little bit of shininess with the wire. So we've, we've tied off the foam right in the front. We've tied off the wire. I'm gonna pull the, both the foam and the wire back. We're gonna make a couple turns right in front. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clip off, clip off the foam and the wire. And just be real careful here because you don't wanna cut the thread and you definitely don't want to cut the eyes off. 
There we go. So from this point, we're just going to make a nice clean head right on the front, right behind the eye. So I'll give like five or six turns. And then we're going to take our whip finisher. We are going to whip finish the front of the eye. And now, at this point, we have to finish off the parachute. So I'm gonna take the parachute, I'm gonna grab the fly by the parachute, pop it out of the vise. We're gonna turn it vertically, or almost fully vertically. And then we're gonna tie back in our, our uh, thread. Okay, so we're gonna wrap back down over this, over the thread. We're kind of just giving a real nice base for the hackle to wrap around. So I'm gonna wrap up just a little bit. Just covering up that parachute. We're gonna come back down one more time. And we're just, from this point, we're just going to let the bobbin hang. So now I'm going to take my grizzly hackle. I'm going to wrap back down. I can do it here. There we go. We're coming just right down the parachute right here. Okay, at this point, I'm holding on to the grizzly with my left hand. I'm using the right hand. And we're gonna tie off this grizzly hackle. Four or five good turns in there, just tie it off real well. Now you can see um, the hackle hanging here. We wanna cut that off. Just trim it up good. Just make sure you're not cutting thread, you're not cutting eyes, you're not cutting foam. And then at this point, I'm gonna take my whip finisher and we're gonna whip finish this grizzly off. And the tricky part about this is to not, when you are whip finishing, to not catch anything else while you're doing it, meaning the eyes and stuff. I've done that before and it doesn't work out. There. Okay, so I'm trimming up that. So you can see from right here, we've got, you're always gonna have some, some hackle just hanging off and we wanna, we wanna trim it up, just make it look nice and neat. I'm gonna trim that hackle up. Okay, now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the fly again by the parachute. We're gonna make it horizontal again. Okay, now we're gonna trim up the parachute. So there's really no um, set standard for, for how long uh, you want your parachute to be. Um, I usually just trim it up and I'll leave about oh, a quarter of an inch of parachute material on the top of the fly. We've got a couple strays right there we're going to clip off. Okay, and then from here we're going to trim, trim up the wings and then we're going to adjust the flash boo and I'll show you how to do that. So. These wings are, are, the straight side is facing in on the fly on both sides. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm just gonna make like a little bit, come across, make a little bit of a point to the top of the wings. And same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna take our flashaboo. Everything's tight in, 
tight end nice and tight. So, uh, and we're just gonna spread out that flash a bit. Now you can see from the way that I cut the Swiss straw, we've got four wings right there. And then if you want to trim up the tail, you can do it right here. If you want to trim the wings back some more, you can do that. Um, I will take a little bit of water-based head cement and I'm going to put a little drop right at the bottom of the parachute where you whip finished it off. Let me see. There we go. And then we're going to put a little bit of whip fin a uh, little bit of glue right behind the eye of the hook where we tied the thread off. And if you feel like you've gotten uh, glue in the eye, um, or a little too much excess, I'll just take my thumb, and I'll give it a little flick, and it'll get rid of the extra glue that's on there. Okay, gang, that is my para damsel. <laughs>